do our minds affect other people's minds do our minds affect other people's minds yes have you ever seen that if somebody is disturbed we can get disturbed in their company yes and have you ever seen that we are disturbed and we can become peaceful in a better mood in their company yes that's support that's support so i need to be that one who's not just the master of my mind but whose power is able to make others the master of their minds that's the power we have but to create that power we will need to do it every single day and all that we need to do is shift from the illusion and the belief system which blamed people and situations for how we are feeling anyone's created anger in the last one week anyone created anger in the last one week two options either we didn't create or there were many times so we don't know which one to select or is like what kind of a question this is who remembers about what we did in the last one week we don't even remember just close your eyes and bring back that scene on your mind it could be a slight irritation it could be an aggression it could be a loud word it could be just an emotional disturbance where i got disturbed because of a stimulus just look at the stimulus look at the scene look at what they did and look at what you felt at that time we are preparing our mind to be different the next time it's our mind it follows our every instruction it will do exactly what we ask it to do situation my reaction the scene is the same the stimulus is the same just bring the attention to yourself and see if there is an option of responding another way option option of responding another way and if yes then see yourself responding another way okay were we able to see ourselves responding another way yes everyone was able to see themselves responding another way is it simple the other response is it simple simple ask yourself why did i not use this response that day why did i deplete my happiness why did i do it why did i not choose this response which i can see right now why did i not choose it that day because that day my attention was not on me my attention was on them at one time my attention can only be in one place if i have taken the responsibility of the world being perfect then i'm focused only on them and i don't check how i react spiritual study and meditation teaches us a very beautiful art and which means in every situation the first responsibility and the priority and the focus has to be how i respond the word responsibility is the ability to respond response ability when we make a list of our responsibility we have everyone's name except for our own name in that list say so what's your responsibility oh i have the responsibility of this 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 my, my name no other people take my responsibility i take their responsibility response ability the ability to respond right is the first responsibility in every scene why 
Why? Because when I am in my right frame of mind, then the vibration that I will radiate to the situation and to the people will be the right energy and it will shift the situation from what it is to a higher energy level. But if I do not take charge of myself and I first try to take charge of the situation, then the situation sucks me into the energy of the situation. Every time you take a flight, the air hostess reminds us repeatedly, if there is a turbulence, what will happen? The oxygen mask will fall down and your child will be sitting next to you. Please put on your oxygen mask first. How selfish can we be? How selfish can we be? Can you just visualize here you're sitting, your child is sitting here, two oxygen masks fall down here and instead of putting it for your child, you're putting it to yourself. How many of us will be able to do this? And yet they're saying it every time that that's the way it is supposed to be. Because if I do not give oxygen to myself and I try to put the oxygen mask there, what will happen? What will happen? Why can't I put it first for them and then put it for myself? I can't do this. This is very difficult. Put it first for myself and then put it to them. Why can't I first put the mask on them, then later on to myself? Why? Anji? Very good. If you don't put it to yourself, you might not have the energy and the strength to put it on them. This is not just when the flight is in turbulence. This is a principle of life. If you want to take care of others, and care of others doesn't mean take physical care of their food, their education, their home, care of others here. If you want to take care of others, it will only happen if I first take care of myself. Because what I am here inside radiates to them. So in any situation, if I first get disturbed, then the only thing I radiate to the situation is my disturbed energy. Situation may get resolved, may not get resolved. But even if the situation gets resolved, I depleted my energy in those 10 minutes. After 10 minutes, there will be another situation. And another, and another, and another. And because I did not put my name on the priority list, I kept taking charge of situations without taking charge of myself. Priority. Priority. My state of being is my first priority, my responsibility. Oxygen mask first to myself. I am a powerful being, calm and stable, now come into the situation. Now come into the situation and a powerful, calm, stable being. What will we do to the situation? What will we do to the situation? And what will we do to the people in the situation? We will radiate calm and stability and power. And that's the best gift we can give to people, even when nothing is going right. That is support. When we say we support you, we care for you, we love you, we respect you, then we need to give them this gift. And for that, we need to practice it every single day. That it's my mind which is my first priority. Calm here, now perfect here. Some of us get a little disturbed when the house is not the way we want it to be, everything should be perfect. Everything should be kept in its right place. The clock here, the towel here, the laptop here, the phone here, the charger here. And we work very hard throughout the day to keep the house perfect. And then they come home in the evening. And everybody does not have the nature to keep everything perfect. And even for something as insignificant as not keeping things in the right place, we can have a little 
we can have a little and it's been going on since how many years it's been going on since how many years there are certain similar situations for which we react almost on a daily basis so being calm and stable in uncertain world is later on first let's be calm and stable in our certain world which means the scenes which are going to certainly come every day let's be calm and stable in those scenes we will get the strength to be calm and stable in the unexpected ones certain scenes are going to come every day certain behaviors we are going to be facing every day but we have programmed ourselves to react automatically to all of them and then we say they did this obviously they did this obviously let's just practice being calm and stable when certain behaviors we are facing every single day and for no line should i say i cannot stand this behavior i cannot tolerate this we can tolerate everything because we are an emotional health of 10 but we start using words like i cannot live without my morning cup of coffee you know when you say this to yourself i cannot live without my morning cup of coffee drink your morning cup of coffee but don't say i cannot live without my morning cup of coffee this line is this line is what am i saying to myself i cannot live without my morning cup of coffee i cannot live without a sweet after my lunch i cannot live without this what does this line mean it means my mind my mind is a it's not it's trained that way it's a slave to that gulam hai un cheezon ke hum and wo sach bhi nahi hai it's not even the truth but i say it repeatedly i cannot i cannot live without this then there are certain people in our life i just cannot live without this person every time you're saying that you are depleting emotional health you are telling yourself nothing of mine is in my control everything is dependent on them ask yourself you are ready to be a slave to what all and who all who all do you want should control your mind nobody be with everyone live with everyone work with everyone but be a master of your life the remote control of my mind has to be only in and which means even if i get angry i get angry but i say to myself i created this anger second line i choose till when third line i choose when to heal everything the power is here but when i say they hurt me then it is they will say sorry then it is they will change then it is they will heal me which they might which they might not i can continue to live in pain for 10 minutes 10 hours 10 days 10 years or for a lifetime because i believed it is they life can become a lot of pain if we start believing like this something happened in the morning a little difference of opinion and we say they upset me they go to work we are waiting for them to return in the evening because we thought they will say sorry when they come home in the evening and we look at them like that huh? and they are like ha kya is it kya matlab so you not even want to apologize and they say apologize for what and this is so now even that i have to tell you what you have to apologize the pain can go many many fold because they hurt me it is their sorry which will heal me and then finally when they look at our sulking face they'll say ha ha acha baba sorry they say no you haven't realized yet say it again because i'm still in pain so i thought their sorry was not really coming from within and they say no you haven't felt it because i'm still in pain when you feel it and say you're sorry then i will get healed my remote control is totally in and people can go on and saying sorry and sorry and sorry and sorry and by the 10th sorry i've started feeling better so i say now you have realized because now i am feeling better 
What an illusion to live our life vain. I created the pain, which is okay. I can get upset over something, but let me take the master, the control and say, I created the pain. Second question, how long to be in pain? Ask yourself. Third question, who will heal me? Who will heal me? Myself. Mm -hmm.